Hey there, so I'm Samil. I'm Tiffany. And we've been involved a lot with Flock over the last year, and we're sort of here to give you our experiences with Flock. So let's, let's proceed. How do we move the slides? So um, let's start with Nova Chat. Nova Chat was essentially a product we built for the UK AI Agent Hackathon for Flock, which Flock sponsored. This was in London at Imperial College London. Um, what we did is we used um, a model that was trained on Flock, which was a Web3 agent model, which was a decision-making model that was designed to make decisions in the context of crypto. So imagine you needed an assistant to do anything crypto-related. Um, the Flock model would do that, and it was trained through the Flock stack. Um, we had a nice diagram on our slides, but it basically showed that the Flock model outperformed all uh, equivalent decision-making models out of the time in the context of crypto assistance. And we used this to build NovaChat, which was basically an agent that could connect to your wallet and perform Web3 instructions and activities for you. Um, that was our first taste with Flock. Um, we built our product, it went well, we won the hackathon, and we sort of looked at our product since. Um, and then recently we were contacted by Yifan, um, and he mentioned that Flock was doing a collaboration with the UNDP. Yep. Um, and yeah, um, we had a look at some of the, the tracks. We were really keen to help out. And we, en we are now basically working with Flock and the UN yep. for two different tracks. So essentially, we're currently we're collaborating with two countries, collaborating with India and Sierra Leone, working with the country offices from them. So for India, we are helping smallholder paddy farmers gain access to the carbon market by uh, making it easier to batch projects together and send them to external verification bodies. And for the Sierra Leone project, well, the current issue is that the country lacks um, tax legisla legislation on private sector organizations that are setting up carbon projects in the country, meaning that a lot of the uh, money is not going back to local communities. So what we are doing is we are setting up a national data registry, which will enable the country to track all the, um, all the like, tra transfer of data and like, projects that are occurring. Yep, so uh, we're really enjoying working with Flock on this one. They're offering mentoring and technical support to not only us, but several other people working yep. with different country offices under the UN. Uh, additionally, we look forward to trying to integrate some custom-tuned AI models that are only really made possible through Flock, as in we could put out a request for a custom AI model, um, and it could be tuned by people and then used in our products or other UNDP collaborative products. Uh, an example of this is currently there is a sustainability advisor model being trained on Flock's playground, and we're going to look to use this in our Sierra Leone builds. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much us. We're very heavily working with the Flock ecosystem on the UN projects, and we've enjoyed working with their models in yeah. the past. Look to do working more with you guys. Yeah. All right, so, thank you so thank much. You. Amazing. All the way from uh, being the winners of the UK AI Hackathon to collaborating with UNDP, a true prodigy. Thanks for being us with in, in the journey.